how uh, IO devices can be accessed from our assembly language program. In the case of high level languages like C, Java, uh, etc., uh, we have a number of uh, full fledged APIs for accessing IO devices. For example, in the case of C, we can use printf, scanf, uh, and uh, some other IO functions that can be used for accessing or handling IO uh, interaction. But uh, in the case of this assembly language program, we will access the IO services through software interrupt. That is, uh, we, we, we have one instruction, INT instruction, that is used for generating software interrupt. And the general format is INT, then interrupt number. So in our case, we are using DOS system call. So uh, we will use the number 21H, into 21H is corresponding to DOS system call. So we can access the services provided by DOS operating system to access IO devices. Most of the general purpose uh, functions and services offered by DOS are implemented through this interrupt. Then uh, next is how we can uh, access IO services through the in 21H. So uh, for selecting a special one service, specific service from this uh, DOS services, that service number, we, we have to mention that service number. Service number will be given through AH register. Then the required uh, input arguments are given through some specific registers. Then we will call the in 21H. And after executing this in uh, this in the 21 h the corresponding um, service will be executed and if there are any return values then that will be available through some other registers and we can consider some uh, services provided by in the 21 h that uh, that will be useful in our programming one is display a string ending with the dollar sign the service number is 09H. So uh, we can display a string by using this service. Action is displays a string ending with the dollar sign. So the, the string must be terminated by a dollar character. Entry, entry to the services. We have to give AH is equal to 09H. That is our service number. Then DSDX is equal to segment offset address of the string. That is uh, DS contains, we have to give DS the uh, segment address and uh, offset address to dx then returns nothing uh, this string must be terminated by dollar character okay so this will display a string ending with the dollar sign if there is no dollar sign then uh, that will display until a dollar is reached within the memory and another uh, service is re to read a single character from our keyboard service number is 09H reads a single character from the standard input device and echoes it to the standard output device also uh, that will be shown on the uh, output also if no character is ready it will wait until one is available entry AH is equal to 09H there is no other uh, input requirements then after executing the int 21H that will returns AL can, will have our ASCII value corresponding to character ended on the uh, pressed on the keyboard. Okay. Then another service is display a character to standard output device. Service number is 02. So action output uh, uh, outputs a character to the standard output device. Entry AH is equal to 02. And we have to give the, uh, we have to give the character to be displayed through DL register. DL is equal to ASCII value of the character to be displayed. And this will display the corresponding character on the standard output device and then returns nothing. Okay. And these are some services within the Indi 21H. We have a number of services and uh, uh, we can search uh, in Google or anywhere uh, and we can find the required services. Okay. This, these are the main services we, we have to use in our uh, programming. That is why we just explained them. 
0.9H, 0.1 and 0 0.2 for implementing the functions like printf, scanf, etc. Okay.